And welcome to a video workshop to introduce Blender. This introduction workshop has been put together for students in the Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences and has been made very much for a classroom environment. Before we go any further, I would encourage you to bring up Blender on your screen now and hopefully I'm either playing in a smaller window on your uh, individual computer screens or I'm uh, being projected on a large screen so you can follow as we go along. For now, I would like you just to look at this video tutorial and follow me as I introduce some of the important concepts to working in this wonderful 3D modeling and animation software that can be downloaded for free at blender.org. Now before we go any further, I would like to just note that we are working in Blender 2.5. This particular version is Blender 2.57 and there have been some uh, considerable changes from Blender 2.49 to Blender 2.5. So you do want to make sure that you are using Blender 2.5 or above and when you are looking for additional uh, tutorials online just make sure that you're looking for tutorials that are uh, using Blender 2.5 because um, the changes in 2.5 have made the uh, interface a lot more easier to interact with and navigate. So before we go uh, any further working in Blender, we're going to go and switch over to a Google Docs where I've put together um, uh, a little drawing uh, just to introduce you to some of the important mathematical concepts that we need to be aware of when we're uh, modeling in Blender. Blender's models are put together with something called polygons primarily. Um, now polygons are simple shapes that are made using a vertex, vertices, plural, edges and faces. Now a vertex, okay, as I say vertices in plural, a vertex is a point in space where edges meet, come together. So you can see here I've got one edge, I've got two edge and it comes together um, in a place in space and that is our vertex. And the most simplest polygons are basically shapes, as I say, that are made from vertices and edges. And the simplest uh, shape that we can form with vertices and edges in order to get a face is a triangle. Um, just for this tutorial one time, vertices can be referred to as corners because as we know with a triangle it has three corners, one, two and three, or three vertices. And it has three edges, one, two and three, and the face, one face. Another simple object or simple polygon that can be formed through vertices and edges is the square. So we've got four edges, one, two, three, four, and four vertices, one, two, three, and four. And all of these, all of these polygons are put together in order to um, form what is referred to as a mesh. And the default uh, mesh in Blender when you open the program is the cube and it's a mesh because the cube is still made of all these polygons but um, just to try and emphasize the concept a little bit more clearly I'll pull up this uh, another mesh object which is the sphere very rounded sphere as you can see um, and if we just zoom in you can see all of the uh, polygons um, which are squares and actually, I'm going to go into uh, something called edit mode, which we won't go into any more detail in this tutorial. And I'm just going to try and highlight um, the vertices for you so you can make it a little bit clearer. So I'm going to try and select just four of them. So one, oh, selected the wrong one. Um, let's just do that. Okay. One, two, three, and four. And because I was successful in selecting the four vertices associated with the square shape, um, you can see that the face has also highlighted. So you can see here we've got one, two, three, and four edges. We've got our four vertices. And I can actually pull this face out a little bit. I'll push E for extrude. And you can see here this is our polygon. Okay? So all of the uh, models that you can create in Blender, which are some elaborate models when you get very skilled, I'm just going to click in the um, Blender art gallery now, um, which isn't responding very quickly. So just give it a few more minutes. If it doesn't come up, we're going to move on. There we go. 
So um, the Blender Art Gallery, these are some really cool models that have been put together in Blender. And believe it or not, the forms that they take, everything has a, a, a form to it. Um, in order, um, All real-life objects have forms. Um, they're all made with these polygons. And the polygons are made of these edges, vertices, and faces. So some really cool faces. Um, and uh, just want to show you this so you can really see how elaborate Blender can get. Um, it's a really great software. And uh, we'll see if this video plays. Yep, it plays as well. This is another uh, video that has been put together um, using Blender. So I do um, highly encourage you to visit Blender.org and watch some of these really great animations. Some of them are only a few minutes in length. Um, and you can really get an idea about how advanced this program can be. But for now, uh, we're going to pause this. We're going to go back into Blender. And um, we're just going to go and very quickly um, uh, introduce you to this, um, this program. Um, and just I'm going to introduce you just to the Windows um, very quickly. So now, hopefully, you've got Blender open up, opened up. And um, this video tutorial is running in the background. Um, Blender is, uh, when you open Blender, the project itself has lots of different windows to it. Very similar to something like Photoshop, for those of you that are familiar with Photoshop. The only difference with Blender is that these windows don't overlap each other. And let me show you what I mean by that. I can go over to this right-hand window, which is my properties panel, and I can pull it all the way over, and it doesn't overlap my main window here. All that happens is this main window gets smaller, and you could say that this is now my main window because it's the bigger window on the screen. Um, so why don't you all try that now, just pulling these windows open closing. I can actually shut it because we don't need it for this tutorial, and I can actually go over to the left window and close this one as well. And I'm left with what is the main window in Blender, which by default is our 3D viewer. Because Blender, it, you do work in a 3D environment in Blender, I can spin the world around to show you that we can look at the uh, the mesh objects that we're working with in Blender, um, and the mesh, these mesh objects that we're working with in Blender, we can look at all sides and go underneath it, go at the top of it. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, a window at the, the bottom as well. We've got a window here. This is the timeline window. We will be talking a little bit about uh, this window in a little bit more detail later on when we begin animating some geometric shapes. But for now, we don't need this window. But I did want to pull it up just to show you that um, you can actually uh, change the content of the windows by going over into the bottom left-hand side. You see a, a little icon with some arrows on. You click on the arrows, and you can see that this is all the different um, things, properties that can be contained in each window. So I can go over to the 3D view and have a second 3D view if I wanted to. Um, or I can go back to my timeline. So you can change the content of every single window, allowing you to set up your Blender project in whatever way suits you best. The other thing I did want to quickly show you, because this can happen sometimes by accident, um, you can sometimes push the wrong one down, and you can lose your toolbar at the bottom of each window. No worries, just go over to the plus button here, give it a click, and the toolbar will come back up. The other thing that sometimes people could accidentally do is you have the ability to add additional windows in Blender. So if I go over to the top right-hand corner, or following me, in the window that I want to um, duplicate, um, you can see it's, an, it's my cursor arrow. Go over this corner and it turns to an X. When it's an X, I can hold down my left button on my mouse. I can drag the cross left or into the scene. And you can see I get a second window. Now I can do this as many times as I want. And some of you might be wondering, well, why would you bother doing that? Well, we'll talk about this a little bit in a little bit more detail in future tutorials. But basically, you can change the views of... Um, of your scene so um, that allows you to kind of like move your objects around you can see what's happening at different uh, different viewpoints but if you did do that by accident um, easy way to get out of it you go back to the top right hand corner you click on that left button again and you drag into the window in essence merging the windows together let go of the left button and your windows merge back top right hand corner there is your cross shape left wind left click move back into the right window and there you go you're back with your uh, um, 
default window, your 3D viewer. So what I'm going to do now is just get you to play around um, with the different windows. Left button, um, left button to open and uh, open and close. And we're just really using the left button for this tutorial now on our mouse. And uh, go and open additional windows and uh, close them as well. Um, yeah, great. Thanks for listening, and we'll come back in the next tutorial. We'll actually set you with a task.